This video will introduce me and how Finance 339 is going to work this intercession. My name is Lynn Coogley and I'm a finance faculty member domiciled at the Ole Miss campus in South Haven, Mississippi. I came to Ole Miss in 2008 and I've been teaching at the college level since 1998. I went back to school for my PhD after over 25 years in the corporate world. My vita is posted on my website if you're really interested in all the details. I strongly suggest email as the best way to contact me, with my home phone being the second best option. Now, let's get on to the details of how Finance 339 is going to work. 339 is a fundamental course in personal finance designed to provide you with the finance skills and theory you'll need to manage your personal finances successfully. Obviously, in a two-week class, we can't go into much depth on any topic. The object is to provide enough information on each topic area so you have a starting point. You can see the list of topics on the slide, everything from managing consumer credit up through investing and retirement planning. You definitely have to have the textbook, Focused on Personal Finance, it's a 6th edition by Kapoor, Delabi, Hughes, and Hart. This is the 6th edition and it's an excellent textbook. It's available in hard copy to rent or purchase if you feel you just must have a hard copy. The link shown on the slide and in the syllabus will take you to the McGraw-Hill page where you can register for Connect for this class. Connect, the online homework system, includes the ebook, and this is a much less expensive option. And besides, you have to have Connect access for the graded homework assignments. You can register for the class on May 1st and begin to access the Connect assignments on the first day of class. Access is available briefly without paying. You can print from the ebook if you want a hard copy of a section or a chapter. You definitely need a financial calculator. I prefer and use the Texas Instrument Business Analyst 2 Plus. It's about $30 at Amazon or Walmart. And finally, I guess it's pretty obvious you need internet access. As you'll see on the next slide, this course primarily uses Blackboard, except for Connect, which is linked out from Blackboard. And you will need Microsoft Office. I'm using 2016, but whatever version you have will probably be fine. The Mac version will be fine as well. You definitely need to be comfortable with basic Excel skills. There are two Excel assignments, which count for 5% each of your grade. This course has no prerequisites, but as a finance class, certain quantitative skills are necessary for success in the class and to be able to apply the skills learned in the class. Math, basic algebra, order of operations, financial calculator, efficient use of the functions, Excel, basic numeric entry and manipulation, copying, relative addressing, using the functions. Some of these areas may be new to you or have gotten a bit rusty. I've created a series of video tutorials covering several of these areas so we can all start on an even footing. A set of videos reviewing material you need to bring into 339 is posted on Blackboard under Video Tutorials. The five pre-course tutorials cover the TI Business Analyst 2 Calculator, Order of Operations, Manually, and in Excel, and Excel Basics. As you can see in the list, there are also tutorials from Microsoft and from GCF specifically covering Excel 2016 topics. These are all well done and worth the time to watch. None of these are required per se, but I strongly suggest you take the time to view any for areas you feel you need to review. If you watch them all, the time is about an hour and 15 minutes. If you're not familiar with time value of money calculations and the TI Business Analyst 2 Financial Calculator, you definitely need to view the first two videos before the course begins, as we'll be covering time value of money in the first lectures and using the concepts throughout the course. Links to all the tutorials are posted in Blackboard. As you can see from this list, just about everything's in Blackboard. Each lecture video is closed captioned and also has an associated PDF file of the PowerPoint slides and notes posted with the unit. The PDF file can be viewed on a PC, transferred to an iPhone or iPad via Dropbox or to a Kindle or Android device using Box and you can view it there for review. I check my email all the time, so that is always the best way to contact me. Please include Finance 339 in the subject line so I'll recognize them immediately as course related. Also, please use your full name in the text so I'll know for sure who you are, because sometimes email addresses and names don't match. If you do not get a reply from me within 24 hours, something is probably wrong, because I am well known for answering emails very quickly, even late at night. If that happens, either email again or call my home phone and leave a message. Grading. 
Always an important question in any class. You can see the weighting distribution on the slide. The exams do count heavily, but I'm also placing significant weight on the Connect and Excel project assignments. If for any reason you miss the midterm exam, the weight will be added to the final exam, making it worth 65% of your grade. If at the end of the term you're unhappy with your grade on the midterm, you may elect for the final to count 65%. All exams will be proctored via Proctorio. Proctorio is embedded in Blackboard and requires a web camera and the use of Chrome. There's a link in Blackboard, Secure Exam Proctor, that you must click on before taking the exam. It will require you to install the Chrome extension for Proctorio. I've posted a Proctorio test test with one true-false question so you can make sure you're set with Proctorio before the first exam. All the exams will be in Blackboard. Each exam will include multiple choice conceptual questions and quantitative problems. All the exams are graded by Blackboard, so your grade will be available as soon as the exam window closes. Graded homework problems are in Connect and count for 25% of your grade. The Connect problems mirror and extend the material in the text. Quantitative problems are algorithmic. The numbers change with each attempt, and you can attempt each question an unlimited number of times. A certain level of skill with Excel is really critical for handling financial matters. These two Excel assignments will use basic skills. Project A is a credit card payoff analysis. Project B is a mortgage amortization, both well suited to Excel. These are to be done independently, but if you email me, I will provide reasonable feedback. These should be a learning experience, so I want to help you both with the material and with Excel. To facilitate communication, I've established a discussion forum, Course Questions. The goal is for all of you to communicate with each other as well as with me in much the same way you would if we were all in a live class together. Because many times your questions can be answered by another student before I get there to answer it. Using the discussion forums will make the questions and answers available to all. I will monitor the discussion board daily and respond to any questions not already answered by a classmate. Note that you can subscribe to a forum so you'll receive an email notification when there's a new post or a reply. This is a short class, so virtually all the materials are available on May 11th when the course opens. This means all lecture videos are posted and available, all Connect assignments are open. Both project templates are posted and available. Connect assignments for the first set of chapters are due on the day of the midterm exam, with the exception of Chapter 1. The Chapter 1 Connect assignment will act as attendance verification. It's due on Tuesday, May the 12th. The second set of Connect assignments, Chapter 7 through 14, are due on the day of the final exam. And the due dates for Projects A and B are shown on the slide and on the schedule. This is my suggested study sequence for addressing the material in each chapter and unit. Read the chapter. Listen to the lecture videos. View any video tutorials relevant to the material. Work the Connect problems. This is the tentative schedule for the course, and it's also posted in Blackboard. Barring any problems, we'll follow this schedule exactly. We're packing 14 chapters into a two-week intercession class, so we have to move along quickly, and that generally means two chapters per class night. Introduction done. Be sure to read through the whole syllabus. If you have any questions, email me, or since the course is now available in Blackboard, try out the course questions forum under discussion. I'll check it soon and respond to anything posted.